the 2023 off-season elections in Imo Kogi and Bayelsa states have come and gone, but issues arising from the conduct of the polls continue to be a subject of debate on the nature of democracy being practiced in Nigeria. Besides the usual hitches associated with elections, such as late arrival of electoral officials, voting materials at polling units, malfunctioning of BVAS, there were also uh, problems of vote buying and violence, among others. Well, joining us to examine some of the issues um, arising from the just concluded elections is our political affairs analyst, La Lua Conde. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, good to see you. To begin with, given where we are coming from, and in terms of you know, the elections uh, recently conducted against the backdrop of the general elections, what impression did you come away with? Well, I, I guess quite uh, a, a few things. But I, I guess the first one would be, in my view, the, uh, the, the, the level of uh, voter apathy in the country now. Uh, not much has been said about this. Uh, and of course, it's even worse for this kind of uh, off-season election. I mean, compared to uh, a place like Kenya, where you have about uh, 50 to 60 percent turnout, what we've had, even in the presidential national assembly election, is about 20 percent. Now, this is even below that. So, so for me, that is one of the major things that we need to be looking out for. Now, I haven't said that. There's also the problem of uh, the, 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 the violence, the intimidation, and, and all related stuff. You know, a, a situation, for instance, in Kogi State, where uh, election results, uh, we are rating ahead of even the time of voting. Now, what all of those points to is that there is uh, an increasing level of impunity when we talk about uh, elect electoral offenses. I remember that in, two, uh, in 2008, uh, when the Iwe's report uh, uh, was released, the report said then that at that time, that since 1960, there hasn't been any conviction of, uh, of, uh, for, for electoral offenses. Now, Indeed. I don't know whether between 2008 and, and now, we've and had now, any significant uh, uh, change of that. But that itself is a, it's, it's a big problem. And so because of the impunity uh, that, that we see in the electoral uh, terrain, and you know, all kinds I, I of... I just want uh, to come in here, Lalu, kinds, and this is just before we let yeah. you go, because we have to go on break. Um, you know, we also saw election results that were failed, and that's in the case of uh, Kogi. Many people wonder how that happened. But, you know, looking ahead, what sorts of reforms uh, do you expect? Yeah, so, so I, I think the first thing that we have to do is to take a good look at the U.S. report. I mean, looking at the report, again, is going to be very helpful because many of the things that we are still dealing with have been highlighted in the report. For instance, uh, the, the report says very clearly that there must be an end to all issues that are litigated from the elections before uh, uh, elected officials are sworn in. Now, for some reason, that recommendation was not accepted. Now, if that were to be uh, accepted, that would make sure that the role of the judiciary, in part, would be limited. Now, what we have today is the judiciary playing too much uh, of a role in the process, something that the U.S. panel report had also warned that it, 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 it wouldn't be good for the system, it wouldn't confer credibility on the process if you have the judiciary determining uh, the outcome of elections. All right. Today, I was reading an article uh, written by Lassisi Olagoju where he said that you know, the Nigerian judiciary has in fact become our electoral college. Because you see the, 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 the overly uh, 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 participation or involvement of the judiciary in the election Lalu, process. This is definitely that has something to be dealt with. we will be talking about uh, in the coming days. Um, thank you, our political affairs analyst, Lalu Akonde. Thanks again.